Hey everybody, it's Army Life. How's everybody doing? Um, Happy New Year! Thank God it's 2011. That means the deployment is over with. Woo! Okay, so, hubby came home, did the, not home, home, but came back to the States, had his little homecoming, and was starting his demo process, and had to have surgery, minor, but he has been here since around December 13th, and I've been able to stay a lot of the time in the night. Um, we had to be here um, for Christmas, so we didn't get to be with the kids. And I didn't want him to be by himself, so I knew the kids would all be with family. I mean, my older two don't even live at home. Um, my youngest does, so he stayed with my parents. And then his um, three kids, the college age one, was home for the holidays, and they were with their mom. So we knew that they had, were with people, uh, with family. But I didn't want him to be by himself and just have the surgery. So actually, they hooked me up, and um, I got orders. And I was his non-medical attendant, and I got to take care of him. And they're supposed to do some reimbursing for different things so that I can get paid for the time that I was there up to a certain date. Um, but anyway, we did get to come home for um, a little while for New Year's, which was nice. We got to see the children, and um, that was great. And then he ended up going back, um, what was it, January 3rd, back here where we're at now. Um, and then he was up for like four days, and we were talking on the phone, and, you know, you know uh, Martin Luther King's birthday was coming up, and he was going to get a four-day pass. But it takes about nine hours for us to drive home, for him to drive home. And he was like, you know, by the time I got there, I'd pretty much only have like two days. I'm like, can I come up to you, please? And he was like, yeah. So I packed my bags and got everything reorganized. Got my child taken care of, back with the parents. And I've been up here for two weeks now, thankfully. And um, although I missed my son, um, he misses me. I sent him a little gift basket. He should get that today with some different candy and stuff like that. And it's just telling him thank you for, you know, being patient. Um, anywho, it's been so wonderful to spend some time with hubby now that he is actually feeling better. And, you know, because our first bit, we I think we had like two whole days that he was fine and his regular self and the other days, he was not doing good. Like he slept most of the time. Christmas was so depressing. Number one, we weren't with the kids. It was the first time I had actually been away from any of my family, which I was so happy I was here, but at the same time, we were very depressed because, you know, he was in the bad months of the day. So, anyway, thankfully, that was over. He's healed up great. And, um, anyway, so he's back on the deep mode process, and hopefully they will finish him out tomorrow and um, we had to leave Friday anyway because we have to go back to the Orlando area for a yellow ribbon event and all of you know that that's mandatory for the soldiers so um, of course I'm driving down that way anyway to go back home because I have to be back home at a dental appointment I'm sure I will blog on that because I don't like the dentist I mean I don't it's not the dentist I just don't like stuff like that Anyway, I definitely need it. Anyway, um, so we'll be there Friday, Saturday, and then at some point on Sunday, I'll definitely be driving home. And if they haven't released him, he'll have to drive back up here to finish the demo process, which most of his other people that already went through it at, after the medical point portion of it, it only took a day. So we're just keeping our fingers crossed and praying that same for him. So he's working it today, trying to get everything finished. Um, he has one appointment tomorrow morning at 8.30 in the morning, and then we can get on the road and go to Orlando. 
We're staying a really nice hotel, and um, it should be a lot of fun. And then maybe my honey can come home. I don't even remember what the inside of my house looks like. And poor Angel Mal doesn't even know who we are. She just cries, my mom and dad say. And they go check on her. She just... Aww. I hope cats are as forgiving as dogs. Anyway, so I hope everybody else is doing good out there. And, um... But being not, hey, I hope uh, your deployments are going well. Um, you know, drop me a line if you need to talk or whatever. Thank God ours ended and we can, you know, start our married life together. Alright guys, I gotta go because it takes forever this stupid thing to upload the videos that you make. Guess me. Um, so what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I watched American Idol it was the on for the first time this season, season ten, and I really liked it. I was really excited because I got to see Steven Tyler and um, Jennifer Lopez and the dog Randy um, Jackson, and it was actually really good. I liked it. So it's on again tonight. Gonna watch that. I think unless I'm having with hubby. <laughs> anyway, he's so much more sexier now that he's in person with me. And not just in my imagination or in pictures. It's so wonderful. Um, oh, and I doubt my nephew will be seeing any of these, but he's in the army and he just um, got stationed. He, he just arrived uh, this week in the Middle East, the big sandbox, the kitty litter box. And shout out to him and his guys. Love you, man. Be safe. Keep your head down and your powder dry. Anyway, and hubby, if you happen to watch this, mm -hmm. you're home. Yeah! All right, you guys, take it easy. Peace.